Right, okay, now what you want to do is you want to take the plug which you got off of your turntable, the one that went to the uh, plug for the light, okay? And what you want to do is you want to measure from the plug, it hasn't got to be terribly accurate, you ain't got to be spot on, but about 90 millimeters, okay? So measure it about 90 mil and then chop it off, okay? Because the regulator is going to be mounted right near that socket, so you don't need these things to be that long, okay? So once you chopped them off about 90 mil, you need to strip a little bit off of each end, okay, to res to reveal to reveal the uh, wire underneath. All right, so I'll do that now quickly, like that, okay. Now what you need, you need two more pieces of the wire which you picked for your LED, and uh, keep them the same colours. Do you remember I picked orange and white? Okay, so I've got two more pieces of that. Now you want to strip the ends off of that as well, like that, okay. Now take the colour you picked for ground, okay, not the one you picked for live, I picked orange for live, so I'm going to put that one aside, I picked the white one for ground, and remember we established that the darker brown one was ground, so what you want to do is twist your ground wire with the brown wire on here which is ground, so put the two ground wires together like so, okay, like that. Now, before you forget, what you want to do is cut a piece of your heat shrink tubing off, okay, and put it over the end of that wire now, okay, so you don't forget to do it later. Otherwise, if you forget to do it later, you won't get it on once you've soldered that onto the regulator. Okay, now you need your little clampy device. You need to clamp the uh, voltage regulator in there. Right now, push it out of the way for a minute. What you want to do is clip your two wires that you've just twisted together in the clamp and you want to put a bit of solder on the end of those. So basically what you're doing is soldering those two together. So clean your tip off, like so, and then just heat them two up and apply a bit of solder on there, like that. Okay, so now what you want to do, once you've done that, is line those two up with the middle pin, the ground pin, the middle one, on the regulator and then all you've got to do is just hold a bit of heat on there and what was going to happen is once the leg on the tr transistor or the voltage regulator heats up the solder that's already on there will just merge with it okay because believe it or not these are pre-tinned and that's it they're together now don't push your heat shrink tubing up there yet because that will shrink when you solder so don't do that just yet okay next what you want to do is grab the lighter orange one off of the plug, the Technics plug, the lighter orange, and that goes to the input, okay, the one on the left of the transistor, okay, and you want to clamp it up so that it holds that in place so it's ready to solder, like that. Okay, you are going to have to apply a little bit of solder to this one because there's no solder already on the end of the wire, so just heat the joint up, apply a little bit of solder, and that's it, job done, that's all you need to do, like that. Now you should have noticed something when I did that one, you should have picked up on it if you were concentrating, you'd realise that I forgot to put the bit of heat shrink tube in on there, but don't worry I didn't. Right, then there's only one pin left and that is for your other piece of your live coloured wire, so that's orange for me, that goes on the other end there, which is the output one, the one on the right of the regulator and again you are going to have to apply a bit of solder for this one because the end of the wire isn't pre-soldered so clean your tip apply a little bit of heat to the joint add some solder like that and that's it okay so when you've soldered all the wires on it should look focus it should look like that okay and they should be nice and strong they shouldn't come off and that one I haven't put a piece of heat shrink tubing on but because there's nothing on the end of it I can just thread it from the end so let me do that now. Okay so now all you've got to do is push all your pieces of heat shrink tubing over the uh, legs of the transistor like that so it covers them all up and then with the side of your soldering iron apply the heat to shrink the tubes and you do, like I say, do keep it moving on these. Okay, so once you've shrunk that tube in, it should look like that. And they should all be separately insulated, not going to short one another out. And they're not going to short out on the metal plate when you put it into the turntable. Okay, so just to review and just to recap here, you've got the orange wire coming from that plug in the turntable 
going to the left pin, pin number one, you've got the brown one, which we said was the ground, into the centre pin, also twisted, spliced together with the white wire, which is my ground. Then on this side, on pin number three on the right, we've got the wire that you picked for your plus or positive, okay, which is the orange one for me. Because you've used the same colour wire as you did on the target light, this is going to be so easy now, okay? So the final step is to put this into the turntable, okay? Don't panic, we're nearly done, okay? So let me just grab the deck in it and I'll be one second. Okay, so we've got the deck upside down. You need to just put your target light back in place, okay? So first of all, your two wires, thread those through this hole here where the wires went originally. Okay, you may have to lift it up off of your cushion or whatever you've got it on. And then just drop the target light in through the face plate like that and then put your two screws in okay like that so once you've got that in place and that's nice and tight just got to flip the deck over so bear with me okay so you've got your two wires coming from your target light through here okay and now we've got the piece that we've just soldered up okay which is here got the uh, voltage regulator with the two wires on there now we need to mount this somewhere the best place to mount it okay on the back here you can see we've got this metal plate here which has the uh, power cable coming through it okay the screw that's closest to this voltage regulator here undo this screw and take it out okay and then on the top of your volt regulator at the top there you've got your little hole okay line the hole up with there and then put that screw back in okay now that's the best place you can mount it okay because a it's close to this other one and out the way. Secondly, it's close to the actual plug itself, so you don't have to have big long loads of wires. And thirdly, when you screw it down tightly, like this, it's screwed to this metal plate, and this metal plate here will double as a heat sink for this. Now, it's not gonna be switching massive loads, so this thing won't get very hot anyway, but any heat that does uh, get created by this thing will just be dissipated into this metal plate. Okay, so once you've got that screwed in, all you have to do is your plug that comes off of here that you've just soldered, plug that into there, like that. Okay, like that, and then that goes round to the voltage regulator, and then take your two wires which you've got to solder to your um, target light, and then just feed them round there neatly somehow. Okay, just, just tidy it all up round here, let me just quickly deal with it. Like that, and there you go, as you can see, it's nice and tidy, it's not all sticking out everywhere and all that, all the wires are nice and neat, and these wires come round to here, okay? Right, now these are the two wires coming from your target light, and these are the two wires coming from your voltage regulator. Now, do you remember I told you to use the same colour wire, and the reason is, is because now this is easy, okay? All you've got to do is go orange to orange, white to white, splice these two together, job done, that's it. So what you want to do first is make sure that these things are the same length, like so that they meet up. You don't want these things too long, otherwise they'll just tunnel up inside here. So what you want to do is grab your wire cutters, okay, and just trim these down so that they meet up, but they're not too long, okay? Trim them down like so. There you go, so that they're the right length and they just meet up. Now what you want to do is strip about half inch of um, sleeving off of the end of each of these wires. So let me quickly do that. Right, okay, now what you want to do is take the two wires that are coming from your target light and pop some heat shrink tubing over those. Push it down. Okay, like that. Then take your two orange wires, which you've just stripped the sleeving off, and twist those two together, like that. Okay, so once you've done that, take your soldering iron, make sure you've got a clean tip. Now be really careful here not to drip any solder onto the circuit board because you could short things out, okay, so be careful. And then put your bit of heat shrink tube in over the join. Okay, and then use the side, side, side of your soldering iron <laughs> to shrink the tube down over that. Okay, like that, and there you go. You see that's a nice neat little join. There's no dodgy bits of tape all over it nice and clean. So now all we've got to do is do the same to the other one, to the other wire which you picked, which is your ground wire. For me that's white. And then twist those together. Okay, make the solder join there. And there we go. Put your tube over the join. And then shrink the tube down.